In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom fields within Pardot. So first things first, log into Pardot and then go to the Pardot settings area. Now within Pardot settings, you'll see object and field configuration. This is where we can create those custom fields. So you're going to see account fields, opportunity fields, prospect fields, and then custom objects. Now, custom objects is an add-on feature. So there's most editions will not have access to custom uh, objects by default. Uh, but if you have that functionality, you can set up the mapping of custom objects in all related fields uh, through that particular tab. So for right now, let's just focus on prospect fields, opportunity fields, and account fields. Now, prospect fields include both account and lead fields on the Salesforce side. So let's go ahead and click into prospect fields. And you can see here we've got all these default fields at the bottom and then an area for custom fields at the top. Now, when you click add custom field, um, it's a similar process to map Salesforce fields that already exist or to create brand new Pardot only fields. Either, either case, you're going to hit that button for add custom field. Go ahead and you know let's give this a name, call it custom field. You can just tab through that custom field ID. That's essentially the API name. Add a tag if you like that extra level of organization. And then you can set up the type down here. Now these two options in the middle, salesforce.com field name and sync behavior, they're only relevant if you're mapping an existing field from Salesforce into Pardot. Most of the time, that's what you're going to be doing, but there are certainly those situations where you might want an extra piece of data on the Pardot side that you really don't need in Salesforce. Uh, in that case, just skip these two areas and go right to the third option for type. Now, I suppose actually for sync behavior, you could say use Pardot's value. I mean, it's not going to make a difference because there won't be any conflict if it's not mapping to Salesforce. Uh, but that last option, type. So this is where you can select uh, whether the data type is the text, the number, date, etc. Uh, and if it's a dropdown, you can actually even uh, assign the different values for that dropdown just on the Pardot side if you choose to. So in this case, let's just make it a text field. And then we'll hit create custom field. There we go. So now this custom field has, is showing up in our administrative area. And if we go over to a prospect record, we ought to see it here as well. Scroll down a little bit and on the right, you've got this custom fields area and that's where our new custom field part on only has shown up. Same process for accounts and opportunities. Just click into that area, account fields or opportunity fields, hit the blue button and then add the settings for that new, new field. Uh, I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.